Definitely one of the best parts is why I'm struggling to take it seriously is this man Simon Rex next to me, who, if, for those of you whom who don't know, is the funniest person ever born. It's very difficult to have a meal with him because eating just becomes a problem because he's so terribly charming. Um, yeah, but really the friendships, I actually would say. And then every night after shooting, we're all living in this hotel together, which meant every night we just go back to somebody's room and like have a little dance party. And Simon would whip out his little DJ deck and we'd just like hang out until so late. Because Merida, it was so hot when we were filming. It was really only bearable when you're at night. So it meant we all kind of became nocturnal on the weekends, which just made it so much fun. I don't know if I would have trusted anybody in the world to make this movie other than Zoe. She knows exactly what she's doing and it's scary and it's real and it's very sensitive about what this movie's talking about and how deeply it's dealing with it, especially with comedy. And that it's one thing to deal with very intense subjects that this movie deals with in a dramatic, horrible way because that's what it is. But she brings levity and the real horror is how much fun you're having while it's all happening. And I just couldn't have been more lucky to get to work with Zoe, who just knew exactly what she was doing all of the time. One of the most moving things to me that Channing spent so much time thinking about, and I think it really comes across in the movie, is what does an apology mean? How do we repent? How do we make better for our mistakes? We all make mistakes. Very few of us, hopefully, as bad as the people in this movie. But how do you try to reckon with the own problems? And I think that this movie really attacks that with so much care and that it could just vilify very easily, but it makes an effort to deal with how confusing it really is.